Welcome to day four of cycle number two, where we are activating God's words by putting them into prayer, which, so it's like I'm taking these words and I'm, I'm actually using them in a conversation with God. I'm, I'm using these words in to have this dialogue with the actual living God. And, and so it makes them come alive a little bit. It just kind of stirs things up a little bit more. So our phrase for today, um, for day four, is I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources. So Paul says, when I think of all this, I fall to my knees. I pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources. So we're going to take those words and just kind of bring them into actual prayer where we're we're actually speaking to God and say, okay, God, you know, so Paul falls to his knees and he, where does he cry out? But he goes straight up to the father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. And he is praying now to the one who apparently has glorious unlimited resources. So God, what is this what does this mean for me in my life as your child you say in ephesians 1 that we have every spiritual blessing you've given us every spiritual blessing under heaven and then in chapter 2 you talk about these hidden treasures that are made available these um endless treasures maybe <laughs> i can't remember the right phrase in that verse right now made available to us in jesus christ and so what what are all these what are these riches god and and when i'm praying to you um god i i often am still thinking in a with a mindset of lack how do i change my mindset from from having this you know i'm, I'm approaching a god with this sense of lack to approaching a God who has no lack. There is no lack in you, God. What does, how does that affect my, my life and my prayer life and my spiritual life and, and my life living forward that there is no lack in God, that the God to whom I cry out, to whom I pray, that you have glorious, unlimited, resources that are made available to me in Jesus Christ. I need those, God. I need your strength. I need your wisdom. I need your mercy. I need your agape love so that I can give it away to other people. I need your your humility and your meekness. I need the kindness and the gentleness that comes through your Holy Spirit. God, I need these riches that, that fill my life with good fruit that I might be a blessing to other people, to the world around me. So I'm not, I'm not coming to you, God, as a God of lack. I'm coming to a God who says, ask for wisdom and I will give it. I will give it freely and willingly. God who says, I give good gifts to my children. You are a God of endless treasures and, and hidden riches and every spiritual blessing under heaven and these glorious unlimited resources that you have made available to us in Christ. I pray, I pray that you will, that right now, by your Holy Spirit, you will help me to access the things that I need, where there is lack, where your resources can fill and, and move into those areas of lack. I pray that you would teach me how to go to you when I have that lack and how to access 
these incredible resources that are there to help me move forward as your child and to bring your kingdom come and your will to be done here on earth as it is in heaven. I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.